Hey, what's up everyone? Good morning. It is currently 5.57 a.m. on a Tuesday. So, uh, today's video, we're going to be going over the most common fitness problem. All right. So, uh, when I was making this video, um, I wanted to kind of come across a couple different things, uh, you know, to basically instill uh, just some useful information and try to push, push out some good content for you guys. And with this most common problem with fitness in general is I get this question a lot from clients. I've hit it. I've had some, sub some subscribers hit me up. And the number one most common problem is lack of motivation. So lack of motivation is understandable. You know, we all have a work family. Um, you know, not all of us are, you know, full time personal trainers that, uh, you know, have spent their career in the fitness industry. Um, so again, with myself, I get this question quite a bit. It's like, you know, like, how do you find time? How do you find motivation to work out? Uh, you know, five, six days a week and be consistent with that. Um, so kind of diving into it, um, I I guess we can start off with a list, right? So you can't just rely on just simple motivation. Like it's not just going to happen uh, within your brain. So we want to slowly start making that shift. Uh, it's definitely not going to happen overnight. So the, the problem with motivation is it's fickle, right? Um, it'll never be there when you need to get motivated to work out. So we can't rely on it. Even athletes, coaches, you know, trainers, we we rely or we deal with those low motivation days as well. So if you think you need more motivation or like willpower to stick to your goals, um, you don't. Motivation is fickle. Some days you feel inspired. Some days you don't. If you want consistent change, the last thing you want to rely on is something that's inconsistent. Therefore, uh, the need for discipline is perhaps displaced. Um, our efforts should be elsewhere. Motivation can be fleeting. It's nice when we have it, um, but relying on more habits and processes are going to uh, most likely increase your training regimen, your weekly workouts, your uh, nutrition focus, and things like that. Another thing we can start to do is design an environment for success. So we have to set ourselves up for success, whether it's making sure we have access to gym equipment, uh, we have a session with a trainer, um, or making sure we have the time in our schedule to work out. The time is absolutely there. Uh, there's, you know, 24 hours in a day. If you need to wake up earlier, uh, you know, to get in your workout, um, try to, again, set up that environment. So, it, uh, you know, like lay out your gym clothes the night before or put out your tennis shoes so you know you're going to cross them and you have to, you know, they're, they're going on. Another thing you can do is start really small. So start with like, uh, it's called like the 10 minute rule. So 10 minutes is just kind of telling uh, the back of our brain. It's like, okay, I'm just going to work out for 10 minutes today. So once we start that 10 minute um, rule, right, we slowly kind of develop the, the snowball effect to get rolling. So I've had clients, I've read stories online, um, literally 10 minutes a day just to start that consistent habit has been very helpful for a lot of individuals just from a mental side of things. Um, another thing we could do is honestly just make the workouts fun, right? So one thing I've been doing uh, recently that I've been getting super into is jumping rope, right? So any of my workouts, I'll bring a jump rope and I'll just mess around with it. I'll try to do single leg double unders, try to like look like a professional boxer, even though I can't do that at all. Um, so have some fun with it. Try to make the workouts a little bit more enjoyable. If you need to try to grab a friend or a spouse or a partner, and then that kind of shifts into um, another thing we can do is uh, align your values, right? So be aware of like your, your personal core values. And then the be realistic with uh, kind of making sure you set goals in line with your values. So we need to achieve long term behavior change if we're, you know, kind of uh, lack of fitness, lack of motivation, stuff like that. Motivation for change occurs when people like perceive a mismatch between where they are and where they want to be. So when we recognize that their current behaviors uh, kind of place them in conflict with their values, that's going to interfere with your overall accomplishment. So again, um, most likely we need to kind of, I just identify that core value and then align your goals with, uh, you know, 
being realistic with things like that. Um, another thing we can do is, I'm a big fan of this, is just planning ahead. So stick into your training sessions. So look at your schedules from a weekly basis. Um, you know, your Monday through Monday splits, try to pinpoint those time frames where we can exercise. And then uh, we have that just really consistent regimen. And then from there we can develop our training plan and then we can get a little bit more in depth with it, whether it's like uh, high intensity uh, interval training or steady state endurance cardio, or just kind of your basic strength training regimen. So the first thing we gotta do is break down our weeks and then plan accordingly uh, to just make it a very autopilot mode. Another thing we can do is bump up the intensity of the the music going on in our headphones. So no kind of like, you know, like low key kind of boring, simple, slow music, get, uh, get perked up, create a playlist, uh, you know, increase your black coffee intake and a couple of my other videos we go over some caffeine and how it's kind of a performance enhancer um so caffeine can also stimulate uh, our heart rate activate our uh central nervous system and then you know we can kind of fuel that into the workout and then lastly kind of tapped on this before is try to find a buddy or a trainer or a coach there's definitely strength in numbers and Working as a trainer for uh, quite some time now is one of the biggest things I've found that's been helpful for a lot of my clients. It's just the accountability. So having those standing appointments, not everyone needs to hire a personal trainer. But again, there is a huge benefit to that uh, accountability uh, side of things. So again, finding motivation, it's not just going to click on. It's something you got to work on. You got to build those habits yourself. These are just hopefully some tips and some tricks that uh, you guys can use, uh, you know, to increase your overall fitness problem. And again, the number one biggest commonality amongst individuals is just going to be lack of motivation. So uh, hopefully some of these tips, some of these tricks help. Um, you can always reach out to me if you want to, uh, you know, kind of work together or if you need some more guidance. Anyways, that's pretty much all I got for you. I hope you have a good day.